Okay, ladies, we're going to transition to a particular topic. Tamiko, this is a big one. You know, as we ask people, what are the areas that they struggle the most in? Of course, no surprise to you. People said credit card debt and, of course, student loan debt. So, um, again, no, no major shock there. But I really want to focus on those of us who um, are feeling overwhelmed with credit card debt. So if we're looking to get some help from an NFCC.org approved agency, do we have to be like behind on our payments? You know, do y'all just help negotiate lower interest rates? Can you kind of set the tone of um, who needs help and how you all do help? Absolutely. So I think that we shouldn't put any type of factors um, around the reasons why you can call us. Um, and that's the unique thing about Money Management International is that um, regardless of where you are, if it, you're just curious um, about credit and you just want to focus on that, if you're, you're curious if you're you know, handling it the right way or if there's a better way to do it, call us. Um, you're not obligated at all to, to go through a debt management plan if that's what you decide not to do. Um, after you see the information um, and, and you get all of that in front of you, you have a chance to talk with your family or talk with yourself about if this looks right to you, then you can give us a call. And I think that that's to, to the point we made earlier is that we don't use our resources enough. Um, this, I, I can't thank you enough, Janai, for having uh, an intimate setting like this to talk so candidly because um, we get any and everything here um, from, from all walks of life. Mm -hmm. uh, from all challenges and, and all factors. And so you may walk away with just some really great resources and some great tips on how to step down your spending, how to step down your debt in, in a way that works for you without really involving anyone else. So that's why I think that, you know, talking to us is so beneficial because we're not going to push you one way or the other, it's just information sharing. And then you decide if you want to move forward um, to address more things that we can assist with, whether that's debt, um, if it's student loans, if you decide that you're insolvent and you just can't make it anymore, um, everyone is in a different place. And that's why we're here is to just let's let's input some things that some safe nets that are going to help you um, and, and get you th either through hardship or through goals or through accomplishing the things that you're wanting to do. So if I'm struggling with credit card debt, let's just assume I am struggling. Um, sure. Maybe I'm making the minimum payments, maybe I'm not. I come to you, how are you going to help me? What, what will you all do to help me? Sure, so our certified counselors will go through your financial situation. Mm -hmm. um, we'll go through uh, your income, get basic expenses from you, just a quick list of what necessities are. Um, we'll pull your credit report. Not, it does not affect your score. It's just for uh, an education inquiry. So we're able to go through and see what's there. Um, and then we will um, create an action plan for you based on what your goal is. So if you say to us, you know, I'm making my minimum payments fine, but I'm just not seeing any headway in my balances. Or you might say my interest rates are astronomical and I don't really know how to make this less expensive. Um, or you might say I'm past due um, every other month or I'm, I'm trying it's really a struggle for me to make all of my payments that's a reason to call. Um, and so what we'll do is um, the certified counsel will go through and, and talk about each one of those creditors um, and talk to you about what your interest rates are, what your payments are, and how much interest and time it's going to take. And then we'll flip that um, to the DMP side and say, okay, here's the more or less around the interest rates that we would be able to get for you. Um, and this is how much it would time it would save you. You would be getting paid off in anywhere from three to five years we do have a couple of options. Some creditors will go a little bit longer than five years now, but for the majority of them, it's five years or less. Um, and the great thing is that because they're set in place, they're agreed upon concessions that the creditors offer because you're utilizing a company like us, mm -hmm. um, then uh, you're able to put more money. So if you, if you get a windfall, um, if you get tax turn or inheritance, whatever it is, you can apply it on the DMP and you're, you're getting that savings applied and save that much more on interest. So it really ends up being um, uh, quite nice for the people that need it. So DMP, debt management plan, right? Yes. Is that what, okay. Yeah. Yes, I'm sorry, so debt I, management plan. Okay. And what I heard you say is I have credit card challenges. I come to you. 
Um, you all will help me potentially negotiate lower interest rates so I can obviously pay it off faster. Most of your clients are going to be paid off within three to five year period of time. Um, but I also think I heard you say, if, for example, if my balance is 10,000, you all are not negotiating my balance down. Right. I'm still going to have to make that payment, yes. but I'm making it over this three to five period year period of time at these lower interest rates now. Yes. Yes. And that there's a, right. thank you for saying that there's a clear difference between uh, what we do versus debt consolidation okay. um, or debt settlement. We're not doing, uh, we're not paying your loans off for you. Um, we, we don't provide any loans or financing. All that's happening is that um, you get a consolidated payment, essentially, because instead of sending, if you have 10 different credit cards, you have 10 different payments on 10 different dates, and it can be difficult, if, especially right. if it's those payments that are getting hard to make. So we have one payment. You send everything to us. We then send the money out to the creditors, and then they apply the interest rates that they agreed upon, those lower interest rates. So you are paying the balances that you owe. You're just saying saving loads of interest and, and loads of time. Okay. All right, that's huge. And just because of time, ladies, um, I'm going to transition us to student loans. I want to make sure no one had any questions about credit cards before we transition. Tamiko, I think we're going to have to do a part two just so we can focus on these bigger issues of like foreclosure and bankruptcy, because I want to yeah. make sure that anyone in our community who has those issues get those specifically addressed. Sure. But um, I cannot let us go without touching on student loans. But any questions on credit card debt before we transition, Ani? So Sharika had asked earlier, is there a such thing as too many credit cards, I guess, in real estate? Mm -hmm. So that was a question that we didn't get to. Is there a such thing as too, too many, many credit cards? <laughs> yes. Um, I would say uh, the best way I can answer that is that every person is going to be different. So they're going to have different needs. Um, now, the limits on those cards and, and utilizing those cards, managing them is, is really what's important. How much of the balance is on there? Um, I would say that if you already have 10 accounts, that you think very carefully about closing them because then remember, you're losing all that payment history. So if you already have 10 credit cards or if you already have a high number of credit cards and you're okay with those, leave that as it is. Don't get any more because your mix of credit is not that high of a percentage for factoring credit, right? Um, is if you had a few credit cards um, with other mix of debt and maintain those payments over a longer period of time, that's um, positively impacting your report. Um, and so if you do already have a bunch of credit cards, you just wanna make sure that you're very careful to not close those longest accounts because those longer standing accounts um, are, are the ones that are helping you the most right now. Right. So for those of you who are struggling with student loan debt, and struggle means, one, you are only making the minimum payments. Um, to me, it also means that you have just already decided that you are going to be paying for like the next 30, 40 years. Like, there's no question that you are only making interest payments only that you are in constant deferral or forbearance. Those are some of the symptoms that you may need some help with your student loans, okay? So please, um, and if you got a lot of them, because you know a lot of us have private and we have the federally backed, um, it's a lot going on. I know some women who have so many loans, they don't even know how many that they have. So though, again, those are some key symptoms that you may want to get some professional help in this particular area. Jana, I think I'm just curious, you know, what advice would we give somebody who does, it just seems overwhelming. Um, I don't know where to start, so that's why I haven't done anything. What's the starting point for most people? Um, you know, Ani, what I like to tell women is, you know, it's, it's kind of like getting on the scale. Um, mm -hmm. Meaning you, a lot of people don't even know where they are and how much they owe. So I think just beginning with that um, and doing your best not to have an emotional reaction to that too. But like, where are you? How many loans do you have? Who do you owe? How much do you owe? Um, once you get there, if you don't see a way out, 
I think it is important to look at a NFCC.org member company like Tomiko's company to get some student loan counseling. And so if it were me, I would want a free consultation. Like, what does this mean? How, what, what will you all help me do? How much is it going to cost? Um, so those are some of the steps that I would take. And then ladies, we have to be honest. Um, we're constantly talking about student loans because we keep talking to each other about those of us who already have them. Ani, you and I have talked about this a lot. We have to stop getting them. Yeah. And we're I think getting as many as we are as getting as many as we are, because we're we're getting them. Um, we're making in four years or six years of school, we're making this lifetime commitment to this debt and it, it doesn't work. So for those of us who have children, grandchildren, nieces and nephews, like we have to do a better job of saying you're going to have to find a cheaper way to do this. So I want you to high level tell us what services that you all provide in yes. the context of student loans. Yes, absolutely. We have student loan counseling available. The cost for self-guided online student counseling is $39. You can do it online. Sometimes that's helpful because you might just need to understand the programs and um, options that are offered, but it can be given it can become very confusing. Not everybody has a very simple situation. So you do also have an option to talk to a student loan counselor. That's an additional $50. So it's a total of 89 if you do the online first, okay? So I always recommend go online, do the $39 bit because it's self-guided. You might have your solutions there and not have to have a need for the student loan counselor. But if you have a very involved situation, use that next layer of help so then they can tell you what type of forgiveness programs you should be using, if you should be consolidating or not, because that could impact your forgiveness um, programs that are available, if you should be using the income-based versus the other types um, and how that impacts cost. Mm -hmm. And so everyone's priority and payment is going to be different in terms of which program you use, and that's where the student loan counselor can help. I do want to also mention that we are helping with federal loans. We can give general guidance for private loans, but they have their own programs and their own rules and things that they offer. So it's a little bit of a different road. Right. So as we, because I know, again, it's almost one o'clock. We want to be very respectful of people's time. Any quick questions for us about student loans? Anything out there, Ani, from folks? Um, somebody just asked about student loan forgiveness for pu public service workers. Um, and somebody just said, no question, student loans, Connie, I just know help. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, Tamiko, any, any comments on that public service forgiveness? Um, this is why I think counselors really come into play uh, okay. because the type of loan that you have and what method you're gonna use of repayment has everything to do with whether or not that impacts forgiveness. So right. um, that's where the expert can come through and actually take a look at the loan type that you've used. And if, if you're on a workout program right now, how that impacts cost. Um, so yes, definitely talk to a counselor um, if you're considering forgiveness and not really sure um, how that works for you. Yeah, and you wanna make sure that you get clarity on the percentage of people who actually get forgiven. Mm -hmm. because I think that can be a little um, deceiving and not from any sort of company who provides the service. But I remember a year or two ago seeing a statistic um, from the federal government directly, the, um, the very small percentage of people that actually get approved for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, mm -hmm. why are they even offering the program if they're not going to be forgiving people's loans? Mm -hmm. So again, ask the questions, ask all the questions. So Tamiko, as we wrap up, first of all, thank you so much. Um, we are certainly going to do a part two because we're going to yes. have to dig into these. I can't wait. Yes. Closures, bankruptcies, the next level of a mess that people may be in because we want to make sure that we're guiding people through that. So once again, will you share your company's website? Yes, www.moneymanagement.org. If you need to reach me directly, if you have questions, tamiko.green at moneymanagement.org. And Janai has my information too if you guys need to reach out. 
And all of that will be posted in the community. So you all in the community can have access to that. Also check out nfcc.org, O-R-G. You know, there's a saying, trust but verify. Please do your own due diligence and research. We want you to do that. Okay, I think we covered it. Thank you ladies again for spending lunch with us. We're going to be doing this quite a bit. Tamiko, you were amazing. We really appreciate oh, your um your Right insight. back to you and the team that you have that is amazing too. Thank you for allowing me to speak to your cohort and beautiful women that are here today. I really appreciate this time with you guys. Yeah. I promise you ladies, um, we can work, we can work through this together. You know, whatever it is, we can maneuver it so we can manage it together. We can get there. So have an amazing Wednesday and um, thank y'all for listening on radio. We appreciate it and send your friends to the community too. We'd love to get them engaged as well. All right. So thank y'all. Have a great Wednesday. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. Bye.